right friends welcome back to questions and answers this is the first week of 2016 as i have already told you there will be only one questions and answers session from this week onwards the other one will be insight please view insight it is a very interesting module which we are designing from this week onwards so first question here which of the following is not under the ministry of information and broadcasting here CBFC, CBFC is the Central Board of Film Certification. This certifies films for public viewing and this is as per Cinematograph Act of 1952. The second one if you look at SRFTI, SRFTI is Satyajit Ray Film and Television Institute basically based in Kolkata. This is also under the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. And please don't forget when you look at the CBFC, that is Central Board of Film Certification. Recently, Shyam Benagal Committee was appointed. And when you come back to the third one, that is FTII, that is the Film and Television Institute of India. This is basically headquartered in Pune. It is autonomous institution under the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, registered as society under Societies Act. So, all the three given here are under the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Why I ask this question is, the CBFC is in the news recently because Shyam Benagal Committee was appointed and at the same time FTII is in the news for the past several months because of the hesitation against the appointment of Gajendra Chauhan as chairman. Sarosh Homi Kapadia, popularly known as S.H. Kapadia, died recently and he was the 38th Chief Justice of the country from May 2010 to September 2012. And he was also formerly the Chief Justice of the Uttarakhand High Court. During the 12th plan period, the National Mission on Libraries, which is meant for upgradation of libraries, was launched with an allocation of rupees 400 crores and this upgradation of libraries the mission national mission on libraries is under the ministry of culture and under this program six libraries under the mission will be upgraded and famous libraries include tanjavur maharaja sarfoji saraswati mahal library in tamil nadu at a cost of around 7 crores and Kudapaksh Oriental Public Library, Patna, at a cost of around 4 crores. And if someone asks about National Mission on Libraries, that is under the Ministry of Culture. In an international poll, the world's highest observation deck, that is Burj Khalifa at the top, was voted the best attraction in the world for 2015. This Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world and it has got over 200 stories and has got a height of 829.8 meters. It is situated in Dubai. The answer here is Dubai. MS Dhoni, The Untold Story. This is being produced by Fox Star Studios and Inspired Entertainment. And here, actors will be Sushant Singh Rajput will don the role of Mahindra Singh Dhoni and Kaira Adwani will don the role of Mahindra Singh Dhoni's wife Sakshi. So, here the director of this film is Neeraj Pandey. It is slated for release on September 2, 2016. Amendments to Negotiable Instruments Act. All of you are well aware recently amendments were made to Negotiable Instrument Act and it facilitates filing of check bounce cases at the place where check is presented for clearance. If the payee is presenting check for clearance, at the same place, he can file the case when the check got bounced. So, this Negotiable Instruments Act amendments were recently made and these came into existence from 15th June 2015. Mary Parra was appointed the chairperson of General Motors. General Motors is a Detroit-based company and Mary Parra became the first woman chairperson in company's history. 
entire country will switch over to bs4 fuel norms by 1st april 2017 and all of you are well aware government announced that uh, switching over to bharat stage 6 fuels will take place from 1st april 2020 and bharat stage 5 will not be in picture directly the vehicles will switch over from bharat stage 4 to bharat stage 6 Bharat stage 6 will be implemented by 1st April 2020 but at present in our country only certain cities especially in north india are being supplied with the bharat stage 4 fuel and remaining parts of the country are being supplied with the bharat stage 3 fuel and the entire country will be switched over to bharat stage 4 that is bs4 fuel by 1st april 2017 subsequently it will switch over to bharat stage 6 by 2020 april 1 so this bharat stage 3 4 5 6 6 basically pertain to emission norms emission of sulfur nitrogen oxides carbon monoxide particulate matter when the stage is increased the emissions will be reduced right friends look into the next one which of the following completed 10 years of its existence recently that is india infrastructure finance company limited this is the public sector company this is uh, you can say development finance institution for infrastructure basically it will look at the refinancing for infrastructure projects what is meant by refinancing when state bank of india is giving a loan to some infrastructure company and to the extent state bank of india is giving loan iifcl will finance to state bank of india that is the refinancing basically this iifcl is into refinancing name the country which unveiled an array of measures tightening control and enforcement of firearms The country we are talking about is United States of America. The country has got the two basic problems. One is the racism, and the other one is firearms. Barack Obama tried to make some legislative changes, but the Congress has not cooperated to him. So, through executive orders, he made some changes in the firearms in United States of America. That means for control and enforcement of firearms. Barack Obama brought some executive orders to control them because Congress is not cooperating because in the United States of America the gun lobby is very strong Masayo Sison he is the founder of SoftBank and Travis Kalanick he is the co-founder of Uber attending this startup India on January 16 and the question here is Travis Kalanick is the co-founder of Uber and please don't forget Masayoshi Son is the founder of SoftBank SoftBank belongs to Japan and this Uber parent company belongs to United States of America School cricketer Pranav Dhanwade became the first player in the world to score 1000 runs in single innings He belongs to Maharashtra he has rewritten 117 year old record previous record was held by collins when he scored 628 runs in a house match in 1899 now pranav scored more than 1000 runs and he is the son of an auto driver and representing a class 10 student as kc gandhi school team in kalyan against arya gurukul school the feat was achieved and here the winning team scored 1463 runs out of which pranav dhanwade's score is more than 1000 commission of enquiry constituted by the delhi government in ddca scam is termed as null and void by the union home ministry in delhi and district cricket association scam the delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal appointed former solicitor general to head the prop panel but the central government stated that
that as per the commission of enquiry act of 1952 only state governments and center can appoint commissions of enquiry so as the delhi is not a full fledged state the committee appointed by delhi government is null and void right so this is as per commission of enquiry act of 1952 Hopman Cup was won by Australia after a gap of 17 years please don't forget this Hopman Cup is in tennis which became the first state in the country to sign up memorandum of understanding for Udai scheme all of you are well aware Udai means visual discom assurance yojana and several states came forward we have already discussed about Udai in the news analysis and this is basically to transform the working of power distribution companies are popularly known as discoms several states came forward and jharkhand became the first to sign memorandum of understanding with the central government for participation in this udai scheme india's first ultra mega solar project probably the biggest in asia will come up at rewa with installed capacity of 750 megawatt and please don't forget reva is the place in madhya pradesh abitali nimuchwala was appointed the chief executive officer of wipro by replacing tk kurian central government issued notification to permit jellikattu in tamil nadu during the pongal season and bullock cart race in maharashtra Central government issued this order overturning 2011 notification with the stipulations that the places should be permitted by the district collector and bull shall be tamed within a radial distance of 15 meters these are the stipulations given by central government but ultimately the supreme court has quashed this order RBI slapped a fine of rupees 1 crore on state bank of Travancore for violation of instructions on reporting data to krilk crilc banks are required to report credit information to crilc you may ask what is crilc crilc is central repository of information on large credits and all the banks are required to inform central repository of information on large credits when the fund based or non fund based exposure is rupees 5 crore or more you may ask what is fund based exposure fund based exposure is when bank has physically given the loan what is non fund based exposure non fund based exposure is when the bank has given performance guarantee or bank guarantee right so when the exposure is 5 crores or more all the banks are required to report this to the central repository of information on large credits and for violation of this rbi slapped a fine of rupees 1 crore on state bank of travancore the government is planning to set up a modern inland waterways hub at haldia please don't forget haldia is in west bengal famous support is there and recently union minister for highways and shipping nitin gadkari led the foundation stone for road cum rail bridge at rani chak to link port with the national highway name the country where death sentence for motiwur rahman nijami head of the largest islamic party jamaat e islami was upheld by the supreme court all of you are well aware 1971 liberation war several atrocities were committed by certain individuals in bangladesh in connivance with armed forces of pakistan now the crimes are being investigated and death sentences and life imprisonments are being handed over by bangladesh and recently death sentence was handed over to motiwur rahman nijami and supreme court upheld that and when someone talks about the liberation war and investigations pertaining to the atrocities please don't forget bangladesh 
which of the following is wrongly matched please look into this uh, uighurs uighurs are staying in xinjiang province of china they are of uh, muslim religion and uh, staying in xinjiang province of china next kurds kurds are in turkey not only in turkey they are in the region of uh, syria iraq turkey they are asking for separate kurdistan madhesis madhesis are in terai region of nepal then the wrong matching here is the rohingyas rohingyas are in myanmar but not in indonesia they are not getting citizenship rights in myanmar so here the wrongly matched is rohingyas please correct it rohingyas are in myanmar deputy governor of reserve bank of india urjit patel was given the second tenure of 3 years and there is an expectation raghuram rajan is also expected to get extension as his original term is expiring in september 2016 a friendship bus service was inaugurated between kanchanpur in nepal to anand vihar in delhi after a gap of 27 years and this passes through champavat in uttarakhand look into the next one established as hindustan mission tools in 1953 HMT started its first watch manufacturing in 1961 in collaboration with Citizen Watch Company of Japan now HMT watches will become a history because cabinet committee on economic affairs decided to close the HMT and HMT manufactured watches in collaboration with Citizen Watch Company of Japan and now this will become history and at the same time please don't forget already alwin which used to manufacture watches with collaboration with the seco of japan already became history now these public sector entities one after the other are going into the history books and hmt watches hmt chinar watches and hmt bearings limited will be closed as decided by ccea recently attractive voluntary retirement package will be given based on 2007 pay scales hpcl oil refinery project will come up at barmer barmer is in rajasthan john nisberg was named the tournament director for 2016 hockey india league he belongs to sweden and please don't forget the title sponsor for hockey india league he is the cil or coal india limited under one time compliance window provided under black money undisclosed foreign income and assets and the imposition of tax act of 2015 all of you are well aware government brought the black money act before implementing it government gave one time compliance window and this one time compliance window around 644 voluntary declarations came forward with 4164 crores of rupees and when somebody is coming forward voluntarily he is required to pay 30% tax and 30% penalty but if he is not coming forward voluntarily and if government invokes black money act then the tax is 30% and penalty is 90% total 120% not only that 10 years rigorous imprisonment will also be there mahatma gandhi narega the flagship program to alleviate poverty and rural distress asked for rupees 5000 crore more funds the budget allotment in 2015-16 is rupees 34699 crores of rupees and it is piloted by ministry of rural development government of india and unfortunately allocation is coming down in recent years and the program is applauded the world over including the world bank as poverty alleviation program as several farmers in rural areas are under severe agricultural distress free basics by facebook aptly describes differential pricing for data services that means some of the services or some of the internet sites will be free and if someone want 
other sites access to other sites one has to take uh, some data plan right look into the next one reliance geo launched 4g telecom services for its staff on 83rd birth anniversary of the founder of reliance dhirubhai ambani and this uh, 4g technology works on lte lte stands for long term evolution in view of reliance geo's entry the remaining telecom companies are upgrading their networks in recent times India's biggest state owned gas importer that is the natural gas importer Petronet LNG signed contract with Ras Gas to import gas at a significantly lower price and Ras Gas belongs to Qatar look into the next one Finopetech tied up with ICICI bank for opening payments bank in the country all of you are well aware payments banks are going to come up shortly and as per the rbi regulations universal banks like icici sba or bank of baroda can invest up to 30% in payment banks right accordingly icici bank invested 30% in fino paytech name the country which is planning to sell shares in state energy giant aramco Aramco has crude reserves of around 265 billion barrels more than 15% of entire global reserves and it produces more than 10 million barrels of oil per day and recently because of the fall in oil prices Saudi Arabia has to go for 98 billion dollar deficit budget not only that the social security benefits which are being given to the citizens are also likely to be reduced under these circumstances to generate some money the country saudi arabia is planning to sell shares in state energy giant aramco main camp hit the bookstores of germany after 70 years that is my struggle written by adolf hitler in 1920s when he was in prison it explains the ideology of nazis right nazis committed several atrocities during second world war and this book that is mein kampf or my struggle indicates the ideology of nazis and it came up after 70 years as per the germany's regulations copyright ends after 70 years what is the code name given to the mission to eliminate terrorists in pathan kot air force base the name given to eliminate terrorists in pathan kot air force base is operation dhangu look into the next one ass siril verma became world's number 1 among junior men in badminton and the last one is farzad b gas field this is natural gas field is situated in iran and india is contemplating to develop this natural gas field and if someone says farzad the b gas field don't forget iran right friends with this let us conclude the questions and answers and from this week you will have only one questions and answers the other one module will be insight please do listen to other modules have a nice day thank you